Hello YouTube, this is another one of my Division 2 build videos and today we're going to be looking at the new gear set which is the Rigger gear set um, with the new holster and a couple of other pieces so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go over to the specializations table and quickly show that off first as I always do I'm using the demolitionist for this particular skill tree and there is a few reasons uh, one of which is the 10% extra damage mod that you get out of the gun turret that you can put in any of the turrets um, another one is obviously the explosive resistance so you can actually uh, avoid explosive damage um, in the harder missions particularly um, the grenade spam is just unreal so having the ability to soak one seeker mine up is uh, not seeker mine sorry a uh, grenade is quite handy um, other than that uh, those are the main reasons that I'm using it other than just having synergizing weapons uh, and the grenade launcher is kind of handy so let's go down towards the range, take a look at the build, go over the stat sheet and talk about the build and what it is. So this is my take on the new rigger set that some people have already put out on YouTube. Uh, a lot of people are talking quite a bit of rubbish about the build and saying that it's not very good. Uh, I would actually disagree, I'd say it's actually quite a good build, it's just that it is a pure skill build, it's not going to be a hybrid of any kind because uh, you are having to interact with your skills. So taking a look at the weapons first, I'm using the Mechanical Animal, this one's been seen before, it's got damage to out of cover targets, and Future Perfection, which is going to allow us to go into Overdrive, as we are not using any other form of uh, skill that will get us into Overdrive, so that's quite handy to put us into Overdrive. Uh, we're also using the Capacitor, which is the named assault rifle that you can get from the summit by doing challenges not god rolled but it's the actual talent on it that makes the most sense so shooting at enemies builds a stack um, of 40 and basically it gives you 1.5 percent skill damage and a little bit of damage i believe for your weapon so that's going to be quite crucial using that to stack up your extra damage as enemies are getting near and i'm also just using um a pistol that has in sync um, the reason why I'm using that is just because I can quickly spray enemies with it but it doesn't matter you could use um, the Maxim 9 if you're using the, the same gear set or you could use anything with in sync on the pistol or possibly even the TDI card if you wanted to however that's not really the most important part uh, the gear set um, has been rolled all into skill damage and skill haste um, and the two pieces of the rigor gear set give you skill haste the three pieces give you skill duration and the four piece gives you um, the tend and befriend so basically what this does is is when you interact with your skills um, it gives them 25% extra damage for 10 seconds um, and the buff can't be refreshed and it just gives a list of basically what classes is interacting with your skills so for the chess piece, uh, we have the best buds talent on the chess piece, which increases the damage to 50%, which is really, really nice. That's quite a lot of um, extra damage just for interacting with a skill. And we're rolled into uh, skill damage and skill haste with a skill tier. Uh, I'm using the waveform holster, uh, which is rolled into skill damage and skill haste. And basically this generates stacks. So this kind of works quite nicely with um, the gear set because as you generate stacks of skill damage you can activate it and then send that skill off to wherever it's going to so it's um, it's useful you could switch this out possibly for the bag to go into overdrive but this waveform holster gives you a lot of extra damage um, for the backpack I'm using the force multiplier literally just because this thing is insane if you shoot at an enemy it gives you 30 percent extra damage so i mean if we start stacking up damage from where we're at you know 30 and 50 just for interacting and shooting at an enemy which is not really very hard if you were say aiming down your sight shooting at an enemy and then click your drone to go attack that enemy that's another 30 and 50 percent so that's massive damage already right there uh, and a little bit of skill haste should that we need to blow our skills or whatever all skill pieces are obviously rolled into skill haste and skill damage so the glove um, again just rolled into skill damage and knee pads just rolled into skill damage okay so we're going to be using the drone uh, striker drone uh, and we're also going to be using the assault turret the way that I've set these up um, is just extra duration uh, as much damage as you can possibly get and then obviously health just to keep it in the air as long as it can survive 
Uh, with the turret, now this is what I was talking about earlier, um, I have health on the thing to keep it alive, and the actual turret mod, which gives you 10% extra damage, is just as good as the ballistic CPU override, so you can actually use that on, on this particular turret. Um, and then 6.8 on skill haste, just in case we have to destroy it. So I've got 12 second cooldown pretty much on both skills there. Okay, so let's go into the range, see what this does. And I'm just going to knock this up to medium for a second, just because we want some easier targets. Now, the way that you're going to want to use this build, um, obviously with the mechanical animal, aim for weak targets first. Aim to clear your weak target first try and get future perfection and then you can stick your other skills up okay. see we're hitting for about 150 on the turret and uh, you know shooting at the enemies with the capacity is actually going to increase that damage even more okay so activating skills and then shooting a target is going to do massive damage so if we focus all on the, the gold target there, you can see that's just pretty much destroying everything for a few seconds once you shoot. But you've got to remember to click both triggers. So I'd say the best way really to use this build is to just intermittently put your head down, click both triggers, jump up, three seconds, shoot for a few seconds, put your head back down, click both buttons, okay? And as you can see, that's just absolutely melting thing. The turret's hitting for about 235, 39, 239,000, and that's not even in overdrive. Um, so I reckon probably about maybe 260 for overdrive with the turret, and then the little drones hitting for somewhere about 150. Um, remember, if you go into overcharge, that's going to help. Let's see if I can do that now, dead quickly. I think we've got an enemy over there we can shoot. So just hold on for one second. One thing to remember is obviously because we're not using the bag, we can't just blow skills and get them back straight away. So you need to be mindful about sort of resetting your skills. Obviously, we've got a little bit of skill haste on in the range here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot that target down, get overcharge, switch weapon. Okay, and let's see what we can get that gun hitting for. So it's absolutely melting now. 283,000 is probably the best crit number that I saw there. So, under the right conditions, this thing absolutely melts. Not only to mention that you have the grenade launcher to clear additional enemies as well. You can go into overcharge, and the capacitor helps you. Plus, if you start with no ammo, the reason that I have in sync is just to quickly shoot a few bullets, and then I can just alternate and move my skills around. And that's the only reason that it's on, just because the bonus lasts a few seconds and I only have to shoot for a few seconds and been as squishy as what I am. I don't really want to be poking my head out for too long, I just want to tip out a little bit of damage and then put my head back down. But um, yeah, this is the new Rigger gear set. I'm just going to go outside and go over the stat sheet so people can pause the video and have a look at what you know they want to have a look at. And hopefully this gives you some ideas of how to build the Rigger gear set. Um, but what I'm also going to do is just go to stats, yeah. And then I'm just going to quickly move down and let you take a look at the stats in each individual area. Oops. Sorry. That's it. Got a little bit of assault rifle damage, which is what I'm using on both weapons. My talents. Okay. Gear sets. Okay, so that is the new uh, Rigger gear set that's been set up. I hope to see you in the next video, and I hope this has helped you put something together that you can use for harder content. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.